Well, it's kind of a fantastic day out here, and I wanted to walk out here and show you my lupin. I guess it's just about in full bloom. Maybe a little past prime now, but it's kind of a pretty thing. It's got really big this year. I don't know, it's about three over three feet tall, I guess. I'm kind of cool looking. But, um, yeah, I did want to show you that, but that's not why I want to make this video. I've run across something that um, is, uh, I've never seen before, and it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm kind of a crusty old hairy-legged old can tanker, so rat rotter, and, and I don't use the word sweet very much. You know, and certainly not in the context that the young people nowadays do, as in sweet. No, 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 that kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But, sweet is in, uh, I don't know, this is about the one of the sweetest things I ever, ever ran across. And um, I was in my office the other day and looked out the window and I discovered a hummingbird nest. I've never seen a hummingbird nest before. I mean, I've seen the nest after they've left it, but this hummingbird was building a nest. And it had an, it's carry, how do they carry things? Do they have a beak? Do they carry it with their tongue? I don't know. We were going to, a friend of mine, we were joking around about that. We got to investigate how hummingbirds carry things. But he had, oh, a little piece of something white and fluffy in his mouth, his beak, his whatever it is. Um, we have some, like cottonwood has that stuff that falls on it falls off of it and the bloom and uh, that's what he had something something like that he she whatever whoever builds the nest and they line that with something really soft like that the, the, the hummingbird nest that I saw um, a friend of mine had it and it had line been lined with what looked like spider web but it was just ever so soft so that's what they put inside for their babies and I guess the outside looks like kind of like just regular sticks and stuff like birds use but the inside is has a special lining I'm gonna back off of this because I'm not holding it steady for the zoom and I'm gonna go in my office and try to hold this against the window oh there he goes she goes whatever see if I can get a little better shot of the hum hummingbird's nest. I guess she discovered that I'm I'm out here, although I'm not very close. Well, she left the nest, and I hope I did not disturb her in such a way that she won't be back. I don't think so. I was I was quite a ways out from the nest, and I'd walk by it much closer than that many many times before I even knew it was there. So I think she'll be back, and I don't think she's laid the eggs yet, but. It would really be neat if I could get a webcam set up and watch this. Um, last year, a friend of mine sent me a website, and someone over on the Olympic Olympic Peninsula in Washington had set up a webcam near an eagle's nest, and you could go every day and check in on the eagles, and and uh, you got to see them hatch. You got to see the the parents feeding the babies, and uh, that was kind of fun. To go check in on them and see what what the eagle family was up to, and uh, it would be really neat if I could. Uh, I have a webcam here. I never I never used. Um, it's, it's pretty old. Been around a long time. Just sitting on the shelf. I just never got into video conferencing. But if I could somehow get that set up and get it live streaming, and then find a website that would host that. I think that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm going to get back to you on this one.